Kong Attitude. So, Five, four, the question three, comes, two, can Hong Kong one, Attitude show us one, they are a finals team? So I want to talk about players real quick. Who Wu still missing? A new player, Dragon's Breath from Korea, filling in for him. And Mui is going to be taking over Macau for this match on the Hong Kong Attitude side as well. So, those things you got to take into mind as we head into this opening fight on City Center. Yeah, the uh, Flex Tank merry go round continues for Blank. Let's see how Dragon Breath does for them. But having Mui in over Macau has been a bit of a dynamite change again for Hong Kong Attitude. They are looking decent. And already laying out the damage, getting the presence on the point. Now just starting to brawl, dive in from Dragon Breath. Does get a little bit dragged in, gonna lose the mech as well to Mui's Peacemaker. 10-10, staying topped off means Hong Kong Attitude keeping that tank pressure unrelenting as CKM popped out and down. Mui is really getting the hurt on with that six shooter and that's looking like an early dead eye doesn't actually get anything off it it's really just the style point they got the point anyway and that's what's really going to count probably didn't even have to use the dead eye in fact cost him his life as tongue spammed the balls across the map but what we are also seeing here is a decent amount of respect coming out from both teams note how long it took before the first kill came out both teams just feeling each other out feeling the ground out and it wasn't until dragon's breath got himself demacked mui had a little bit of a scare but stayed alive got himself the dead eye the first ultimate of the game hong kong attitude really went in deep now just need to hold on it's really that simple early valkyrie out of cura they want to take this fight quick it's going to be the rally out from Shylin as well. So Hong Kong Attitude, though. yeah, good pressure. And they get Mui for it. Hong Kong Attitude still have ultimates to burn. They have burned two of those ultimates now in the form of the Primal Rage and the Valkyrie. That res going in onto Mui means even numbers. Trill goes down before he can get a Primal Rage off. Good headshot from Mango and a self-destruct from CKM. Kura having to prioritize the damage dealers in that situation, but they lose Dragon Breath. And again, now the numbers just start to slip and slide in favor of Hong Kong Attitude. And Blank are never really effectively able to shut down Mui. They get him down, but he always gets raised back in. CQB now, two fights out of two fights. Mui gets taken down because he is the target, but the res is always there. And as soon as Mui comes back up alive, the damage is there. Hong Kong Attitude have regained the space of Blank Esports, have not bought themselves enough time, enough space, or enough members in player advantage to actually do something about this cap. And it's starting to really get out of hand for them. Mui's got another dead eye here. It's going to be the Dragon Strike out. Gets right on top of Mui. They're able Life. to keep him topped up. Yeah, nice transcendence from Mango Jai. And already they make hay while the sun is shining. Tongue out of the picture. And Blank now just lean on ultimate. Realistically, they have none left at their disposal. Or you don't really count the Infrasight in this sort of situation. And bleeding hell. Deadeye out. Only kills CKM. But it's more than enough to tip the already unbalanced scales further in the favor of Hong Kong attitude. Over time to tick down 100 to 0 on point A of Oasis to Hong Kong Attitude. Commanding lead there and a commanding finish on City Center. Hong Kong Attitude so far looking reasonably infallible, just some slight issues there, keeping Mui alive. But again, because the resurrections are in place, because CQB has been very diligent, Mui's been the only target that's kind of been going down, but then coming back up. So for Blank Esports, again, they're not able to get enough of an advantage after getting Mui down to sort of coordinate their attacks on him, and we also see moments where he's very low, but then we have the transcends from Mango Jai saving him again. So, well, Blank Esports not able to find the correct targets and keep them down effectively. Now at the gate, already at match point. We are expecting Hong Kong Attitude, at least they are favored here, we can say. We match point for Oasis, anyway. Yeah, match point for Oasis. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't miss uh, the best of one, fellas. Yeah, <laughs> best of, just don't lose the best of one. Uh, but, but Hong Kong Attitude already going to push on to this point. It's actually blank set up on it, so it's Hong Kong Attitude having to attack it. Unlocking in a few seconds, what's Hong Kong Energy tank going to be? So early hitshot from Huss is going to be pretty good at shutting down a Ting, and that's allowed now Blank Esports to directly push into Hong Kong Energy. This could be them losing a team fight finally in this Oasis map. Yeah, Mui not quite able to get enough onto CKM before Shailen goes down. That means Blank do get the cap, so it's not going to be a second 100 to zero. Hong Kong Energy going to change things up ever so slightly. Yeah, Shailen going onto the tracer here. We'll see if he can put some real damage onto Hush. Know that for Hong Kong Attitude, they still have a good composition to take down Blank here. 
Mui on to CKM and Shailin on to Hus. Those are the matchups that Hong Kong Attitude need to be able to force, and if they can do that effectively, they can take this point. And you'd certainly expect them to be able to do those two things. I mean, Shailin and Mui, between them, have the aptitude. They are incredibly good players. It's just getting the angle in. Shailin getting pressured has to back out. This gives Blank more time on the point and more time to charge up those ultimates. It's a good lead for them. 40% now nearly for Blank Esports. Infrasight coming through. Trill's going to be up next with the primal range for Hong Kong Attitude. You're still waiting. You're still just lining up for that first oh. one. It is Blank Esports yes. going to go in first. This time, Mui going down early means CQB probably not going to get the res and going to wait for the respawn. And Hong Kong Attitude lose even more time. Yeah, that's the thing. You want the res for the fight. The respawn's actually quicker at that point, and Mui's going to have to go over onto the Genji. This really hurts their ability to contest CKM. They're just kind of accepting, okay, right now Mui's too static. He gets dived, he gets shut down when he's something mobile. Now they're going to have to dive onto Huss. Blake Esports are getting further and further ahead in terms of ults here. Look at the barrage ready. This one's going to be big. CKM just, le just hovering this one over Hong Kong Attitude. They've already separated the two tanks. Unfortunately, though, for Blank and the time it took them to close out on a tank to actually make use of that separation. They had already lost a member and then CKM going down. Means Kura's going to have to find an angle in for a raise. They need that Rocket Barrage. The tanks have at least kept the fight alive here for Blank. Actually, it's approaching the point where Blank may just want to seed this one over. They've pushed it to that 90, uh, 90th percentile, as it were. And Hong Kong Attitude looking to close this one out. Blank maybe want to try and draw some ultimates out. Will get the self-destruct from 10-10. Hong Kong Attitude should be able to close this. Well, Blank have now met that 99% sort of milestone here. And as you sort of say, this is when they're actually going to give up the point. CKM not going to bother with that dragon, with rather not the dragon there, but the rocket barrage. They're coming with that next time around. Tongue maybe questionable transcendence there, but again, allows them to secure that 99%. So for Hong Kong Attitude, let's see how long they can hold on to this one for. They do have a big economic lead, and you'd expect Hong Kong Attitude Thanks to be able to assist. snowball very effectively in this next defense of the point, but they have to counter out this rocket barrage. That's got to be key. They kind of do have the tools for it though. They've got the transcendence, so it, it makes it a little harder for CKM to get the ideal shot in. And that's to say nothing of CKM just getting picked off. Maybe Mui with the Dragon Blade is pressure. able to take him out. And yeah, pressure would be there. Catch onto Tongue as well. Big opening that's trill two. as well, yeah. And it means that they can't really commit the Rocket Barrage in this fight. They do get the Primal out of a Ting and the Valkyrie out of CQB. But what they really wanted to get was the Dragon Blade and the Transcendence. The things that can contest CKM. Well, the other thing is, either 1010 or a tank could just fly up into him and block him, force the suicide onto CKM as well. So there's a number of factors here for Blank Esports that they have to be considerate of. But as long as Hong Kong Attitude can keep this proactiveness up, they can attack first, get themselves into the Dragon Blade, force Blank to be the ones responding. That would put Hong Kong Attitude ahead. Blank still finding an angle in. They're coming up with some good ultimates. There's the Rock Barrage, and it is going to be 1010 committed to stopping that one up. CKM turn around in the nick of time. It saves his life. And they also pop the Ting in the ground game. They get 10-10 as well before he can remake. The self-destruct did get Dragon Breath, sets him up for the kill. But Blank in the driver's seat in this fight. Shylin having the back way out. Overtime now kicking in as Hong Kong Attitude still waiting for a couple of respawns. Mui's just gonna have to commit this blade. Oh, Without he's support, dead. he's already dead to Huss. Excellent shield bash to stop that one short. And now Hong Kong Attitude, no way of recovering the numerical situation. And Blank still rotating into game-winning ultimates now. They've got the Transcendence at their disposal. They've got all the tools they need. Might not even need them. They pop the Valkyrie. They're getting kills left, right, and send the Shylin on the wrap around. Got a lot of work ahead of him. If he wants to turn it around, not gonna get any of it done. Unfortunately, Mui. Also going down, finally pulling out the blade and getting nothing for it. That's going to be Blank hitting one back on Oasis. Mui dying at the worst of times, unfortunately, for his team. TQB this time not going to be able to res him. He's just caught in a really difficult spot there. And for Blank Esports, they continue rolling through those kills. They continue building up those ults. Hong Kong Etchu maybe had one more shot there. Shailen needed to hit an absolutely disgusting pulse bomb. Couldn't get that in there. Moi eventually respawns, rejoins the team, pops that Dragon Blade, but goes down to CKM straight away. Doesn't get enough mileage. You'd say even if he was able to get a couple of kills, too many Hong Kong Attitude members already went down. Blank Esports already too far ahead. They had that game one. That's what that 99% does to you as well. It means you are just that one fight win away. So well done and well deserved by Blank. Turning it back around. Not going to get shut out. 
on Oasis. As it is now all even Stevens. Anyone's map really going to get decided on city center or university, whatever this place is. This one is going to be, we've really been to city center, but this one's going to be CKM coming out with the fire straight away. It's a good read in terms of predicting what Hong Kong actually wanted to come out with in this opening composition. So again, you have to look at CKM, look at the pressure he has, look at the damage he has and see if he can get the job done. Yeah, they just, uh, they smelled that farm. Gonna deal with the goats. Nope, all right, never mind. Tenten's already popped Haas, and Hong Kong Attitude already had the point. Now they're able to take the goats fight. Goats running wild. DKM. Yeah, goats running wild. It's uh, chewing your pants. Eating your cash. That's not what you like to see if you're blank esports right now. Let's see if they can make any, if they even want to make any changes up here. I, I suppose they probably wouldn't. They're already sort of on their way to the ults, and you'd say, looking at the composition, should be good enough to take their Hong Kong Attitude, but they're ready to play for disengage, and the tanks now, Dragon's Breath and Trill, gonna make that change over. That's just so aggressive though from Hong Kong Attitude. Well, they need to be. Exactly, that's exactly what you wanna do as this GOATS comp, and they've got the Coalescence to back it up. CKM does get the Rocket Barrage out, but he only gets one, and it's a 1-4-1 one one as Hus goes down on the other side of that. It's now moving forward onto the point. This is where CKM really ought to shine. Good grab though, stops the tanks up short. And it means Kura has Good a trans. Valkyrie and Tongue popping the transcenders to keep them alive. Hong Kong Attitude still in control of the point. They're not really in recovery mode just yet. Blank haven't quite got the leg up that they've been needing and now things are starting to fall apart for them. Losing so many members so quickly as soon as True went down, as soon as just a little bit of that pressure was mitigated, Hong Kong Attitude are able to smack one back hard and Blank crumble. We gotta say here for Blank Esports with those support ultimates, they're able to nullify the tank ultimates of Hong Kong My Attitude. Ultimate when I say tank ultimates, I'm really talking about the Graviton Surge here. The issue is after the ultimates have been used, they counted each other out, they cancelled each other out. Blank Esports are not winning the rest of the game. Now they're swapping onto their own goats, but they're so far behind in odds. And a huge Earth Shatter out the gate. That's what happens when you've been on that Reinhardt all game long and your opponent only just switches over. 90% now, at least it's a relatively quick team wipe for Blank. But for Dragon Breath, who is not going to have time to reset the mech, he needs no to do something. He needs to dive or go back to spawn, but he's lost that opportunity. They've just got to try and go for it. Tongue's already dead. Dragon Breath isn't even a tank right now. Only just, no, not even back in that mech. Shrivel's already dead anyway, and it's going to be a second shutout to bookend Oasis. The middle map was a good showing from Blank, but not enough to actually turn it into a win. Hong Kong Attitude taking the first map of the series. You look at Blank and you say, for that university they had, what is on paper the composition you want to run against what Hong Kong Attitude had in the GOATS, but at the same time, Hong Kong Attitude executing so well, they understand how quick they need to play, they understand the ground they need to take and who they need to target, they tick off all those boxes, they get in the face of blank, and it doesn't matter how high in the sky CKM is, you're not going to get enough response kills, and that's exactly what happened. And that's just unfortunate, I mean, blank... They had the pieces, they had the aptitude. We saw them on Gardens when they had the right team comp, when they were playing it well, they were actually able to win. And again, it makes you wonder what goes wrong there on University where they have the right team comp, but aren't able to make it win. That's exactly why they're currently sitting two and two and only likely to qualify for playoffs in the fourth place seed. This is not the blank we know and love. The bits are still there, the glims yep. are still there, but they're not quite that shining diamond. And you know the things, are, it's getting difficult for blank esports when they have to change the same exact composition basically as the opposing team. However, they're starting up fresh and Hong Kong Attitude are so charged up. And with that, you look, you see that 1-0 so far in the series. Oasis going the way of Hong Kong Attitude. And the two wins they got there, the two round or map wins on Oasis, were both 100 to zeros. The only one in the middle was that Gardens that didn't quite go their way. You, again, you've got to commend Blank for that one. Oh, yeah. But it's not enough to get Blank a win. And w with them being one down already, and we already said that Hong Kong Attitude is sort of favoured here. I mean, it's only one away from being at match point, and this is a potential three and zero, or maybe even four. And there was a time when Control was an exceptionally blank favored game mode. Granted, that was quite a long time ago, but it just goes to show uh, not only the issues that blank is having this particular season, but I want to speak to the positive side, the progression of Hong Kong attitude here. Uh, they're not just taking advantage of a weakened blank. They are in their own right, just playing very, very well. They have improved. I would say this is a Hong Kong attitude that could even be getting these kinds of results against blank more or less in their heyday. So... 
you've got to commend the other side of this here. This is Hong Kong attitude up against their longtime rival, already looking like they'll secure a second place seed, just now looking to solidify that and getting very well-deserved map wins. Like you said, you know, both of the maps they actually won there on Oasis were 100 to zero. It was well executed. And if it does become a 3-0, a 4-0 situation for Hong Kong Attitude, it would be an absolutely deserved one. The other thing is for Hong Kong Attitude, we didn't even see this level of gameplay from them earlier in the season because they had yeah. Mikel in the driver's seat in that DPS spot and Mui on the coach position. Now Mikel is either on the sub position or somewhere else. He's probably on the sub here. Mui it's stepped in to play again. And you almost see this team almost level up because of it. Mui is no yeah. slouch. He's a fantastic player, but he also brings that leadership to the team. That's why he's also the coach of the team. And when you have a great player who's also a great leader, you get really good results. You see how decisive they are. Let's go to the next map. Now, at least let's take a look at what that next map is. Icon Wilder chosen by Blank Esports. And I was sort of in that similar space where we were one match ago looking at Mega and EXL and saying, well, for Mega, no, we need to see we need to see this being a yeah. sort of comeback and push it to one and one for Blank Esports right now. Based on what you saw in Oasis, you'd say it's definitely possible. It's definitely within their grasp. Yeah. But Hong Kong Attitude are just looking so good. And that's the thing. It's, it's inevitable when you're in these situations where you do have one team that is clearly the favorite to win a series. And then there are a couple of map wins up. You look at the other one and you go, well, you know, they've, they've got the aptitude. They've actually got to make it happen. And it's not unusual that they just never make it happen at all. It also happens that sometimes they turn it right back around. So both are very much on the table here for Blank. I feel like it's a win or loss here on Eichenwalder that is going to set the tone of this series far more than what Oasis did. I think it would be far too difficult for Blank Esports to come back with a reverse sweep. So preventing that, they'd have to get this map underway and potentially swing it into a three and one favor on their side. And, and it has to start here. Just has to. Absolutely does. But if it doesn't, we do have to be honest in saying it wouldn't be altogether unexpected. This is currently the second team in the standings and Blank have, Attackers to put it simply, lost to worse within this group. That's true. And also lost to better. I mean, that's not relevant, but it's true. It's going to be Hong Kong attitude on the defense first. Standing. Jumping. And again for Blank Esports, unless Nova pull out a victory against CAG, Blank will still go to playoffs. So, I mean, that safety net is there, but if you're not winning this, you'd be, in, you'd be hard pressed to do much in the playoffs either. So again for Blank Esports, now let's see what they're going to do. It's going to be Goats rolling out first, up against the Orissa Hog. Defense. So for Hong Kong Attitude, they got the spam, they got the poke damage. They have to disengage this aggression from Blank and then they can win. Moving around the side, they the have hook. made that first move effectively. Hook does connect on Dragon Breath, but he's going to be just fine. Getting topped up now, looking for their next movement here, Blank. They've got the composition for it, but they can't waste too much time. They're respecting the whole oh. hook. That uh, concussive blast actually from Shylin did a decent amount of disruption there for Blank. It's going to force them the long way around. While yeah. that's happening, Hong Kong Attitude can just sort of go back themselves to it's finally dive. Blank get into the brawl. But by the time they're there, there is all that ultimate charge that has been racked up. Shylin already gets two before going down, and Tung's coalescence isn't enough to save this team right about now. Unless they can get some miracle turnaround, but Mui says no. They've still got those two DPS players. Looking good, actually. Absolutely dishing it out. Dragon Breath does trade a couple back, and they do manage to get uh, the mech back on the side of, uh, or onto Huss, rather. I guess it's also on Huss's side. That means the blank are just barely going to stabilize off that. Well, actually, you know, to be quite fair, Shylin going down was a pretty big issue for Hong Kong Anitude, despite the fact that he got two kills first. He's actually the one member that Blank Esports are going to have the most trouble taking down. So while he's stuck in the air, immobile during the barrage, Blank take him down exactly when he's the weakest. And because of that, there's a lack of response damage from Hong Kong Now uh, Just moving forward, looking to occupy the space. Nearing grab as well. Given respect to the fact that if they stand on top of that high ground, they just allow Shylin to uh, rain rockets on them. So I like that they were occupying the space just below that. Now they move over to the payload as it's able to start moving. They have to find their opportunity in. Self-destruct sky high. Forces Shailen and CQB to the far side. 
They are gonna be just fine. Huss, not so lucky. Looking for grab. Yeah. They need to find an angle. It's hard to get a grab against this kind of team comp, though. That's the thing. Hong Kong Attitude know that Dragon Breath oh, wants down. to grab. Not going to let it happen. And with Dragon Breath dying, I think that's the wind out of flank sails for this fight. And this had to be the fight with flank esports. They needed to use their ultimates. CKM actually pops the rally, dies straight away. This should have oh. now going to connect from Trill, but. Is this going to be the beginning or the end? Because Blank Esports are still waiting for respawners. You also now have to see the grab and everything else used because Blank are ready to change compositions. The members that have already altered have already changed. It's just up to this grab from Dragon's Breath now. And it's going to be a little bit of a tough one. They still don't have a great way of dealing with Shaolin. It's going to have to be Huss doing that work. CKM a long way away from that Dragon Blade. And even then, that's a very suboptimal tool to contest to Farah. And there's the Rocket Barrage and Cock for Shaolin. And they don't even have eyes on Shaolin, but uh, Shaolin oh. does have eyes on them. One for one, though, Dragon Breath. But there's no grab. Yeah, exactly. That's still a good trade because of that. But Tung taking out CQB just... Ah, never mind. Movie gets uh, two, in fact. You get a third. Doesn't even need to. Yes, Damage he does. Done. He does, though, anyway. Just for good measure. Now looking for a fourth. Come on. Make it happen. Uh, style doesn't... points on Trill as well. Yeah. Follows him through the bubble. Doesn't get the melee shot, gets the scoped in shot. Now Blanca kind of stuck in the spawn section, still waiting to see the same grab from about three fights ago. And you'll want to see Dragon Breath onto a D.Va or something else right now, but he can't change until the grab has gone out. But unfortunately, it's been so hard for him to find this grab. And that's the unfortunate reality of it for Blank. It's just so hard to crack this position with what Ooh. they're currently running. Ooh, I felt that. And they need to get that grab used. I mean, they need to get some mileage out of it. But when does it start becoming a sunk cost situation? Husk going down. Current. This is already a lost fight. Yeah, Hong Kong Attitude just getting so aggressive on this. They're not letting Blank get into a position to use this grab. I think Blank maybe actually just had to take this one on the chin. They've lost so much time. They're going to have to take this one on the chin extra hard because if I was Dragon Breath right now, I'd probably just change straight to D.Va. Exactly. You've already lost the opportunity to use the grab. You could have. It, it should have happened so many fights ago. It's not even necessarily no his way. fault, but Blank as a team right now need to be able to play cohesively on through a single game plan. Unfortunately, that single game plan is we got to use the grab, finally comes out. And not bad either, catching it on that top corner there. Mostly counted out by the Transcendence, but not completely. CQB down in 10-10. They can stop him from getting back in that mech. Indeed, they can. A Ting as low as well has to pull back to lick his wounds. That means Blank get themselves back underway. They finally get the mileage done with that grab some three fights later. With one minute and 30-ish seconds remaining, so for Blank Esports, not a lot of time to play with. Dragon Breath didn't even die there, he just went straight back to spawn, changed straight onto D.Va, and now Blank are finally in action. They got the Skinji, Widow Cop, running underway, Troll has ultimate, Tongue has ultimate, and Hulk Attitude have to be the ones to respond, and Mui does so. Ooh, yeah, Hus takes a headshot. Shiling gets low, but down, not out, is the name of that one. CKM as well picked off, and Blank for the ultimates that they did have, the Primal Rage and Transcendence, they're not getting a lot done. They do get a few they are committing. in, yeah, but the Rays on Shaolin, Trill and Dragon Breath both quite low. Tongue not able to top off Trill. That was the one they needed more crucially. They're just going to have to pull back once again. Less than a minute remaining. The distance seems pretty good right now, but as we head to the end of the timing here, the more distance you have without capping, it starts to work against you because your respawn distance is so far. And Blake know it, so they're going to dive straight for this card. They're regrouping on top of there. And actually, it's Hulk Attitude. They're going to respond. That was an excellently quick reset out of Blank. Absolutely pays dividends for them. Now Mango Jai into rescue mode with this Transcendence trying to buy time on the point, as will a Ting. It's kills that they need to get, though, more than anything else. They do get Tongue. They're having a hard time getting anything more than that. It should be capped. pretty low, and yeah, it should just be capped in just a moment now. CKM with that Dragon Blade was able to get the work done. Blank willing to throw every ultimate at this fight. They know how important that cap is in and of itself. Plus now buying a little bit of extra time and still looking to keep the momentum going if they can so help it. CKM needs to be careful, but they're getting away with it. Every single kill Blank here gets is very important for their momentum pushing into C. They don't have a lot of time. They have about the same amount of time the last time we did do an update here, which is just going to be under 130. Now they're going to have a couple of attempts at best. Every meter they get, every inch is going to be paying dividends in that defense when we get to it. And they're actually still getting the kills as well. The momentum is still on their side, looking to dive forward. They're kind of uh, 
Got that mojo back. Good stick on Trill, though. Means they will finally shut him down. And that does hurt Blank's ability to play as well. Barely got the raise. Have been. Yeah, barely got the raise. But crucially did. Trade back onto Huts. They're not getting the kills onto Hong Kong Attitude anymore, though. And now Shailin starting to run circles around Blank on this Tracer. Means that Blank are going to lose that momentum now. But they got a lot of card distance for it. Over two-thirds. In fact, that's about three-quarters of the way on to the C point. So Blank can be reasonably be happy about what they manage here with one final attempt if they can get the team fight when they can actually cap and that's the groundwork being completed and they are also changing compositions and they know this is it this has got to be the push that has to work for them ckm has got to blame double support ultimates it is certainly doable they need to find the angle in oh, oh that dear. Hurts. That's not a great start. Good stick from Shailin, though. They're going to have to move. Oh, the yeah. Rez, but already too dead to the South Destruct. Doesn't matter that you can res Haas. You would rather have had some ultimates at your disposal. CKM, I, I mean, you've got to pull it out anyway. You've got to give it a whack, but he's going to get nothing for it. That was excellent by Shailin. Set the tone of that, but really it's the South Destruct from 10-10 to put the nail on the coffin. Well, 10 out of 10 minutes. points for him, i got to say. Uh, completely stopped up Blank's push in their final attempt, but I gotta go back to the fact that Blank had the groundwork there. The, the sort of late kills they got on Honk Manitude after capping up B allowed them to get the cart push as far as it went, which has to be what Blank have to be able to rely on here because you're probably not expected to finish the map. Few teams, very, very few teams can actually finish the map while only having 1 minute 30 remaining in this final section of the map. So any amount of distance they get, becomes defendable once they get once they defend this point themselves assuming we get here that's actually an interesting thing to note assuming we get here because there is the world in which blank fully hold a there's the world in which they fully hold somewhere on b again it's like what we're seeing on oasis you know the aptitude is there the execution is even there sometimes it's just not quite there all the time I'm going to say for Blank, a very similar thing has to happen to Hawker Attitude as what happened to them, which is there needs to be considerable slowdown on this B phase for them to actually full hold at least on that final cap because you need Hong Kong Attitude if they're going to cap out B to cap out in overtime, which only then gives them 130 to go into C. And 130 is probably not enough time as was previously mentioned. And that's how Blank could get that full hold because if it's more time for Hong Kong Attitude moving into C, it'll probably be too much time. And with that remaining, Hong Kong Attitude can finish the map and get this map victory. So Blank Esports got a lot of work ahead. Should go through a B phase. Growing up as a teenager, you know, you go through like... No, I just capped out in one, through, uh, one attempt. <laughs> Speed ran puberty. <laughs> you just woke up just one woke morning. woke up one day, was like, yeah, hey, no, we're done. Yeah, woke up one morning, strong jaw, good. deep voice, bulking muscles, just... Good morning, parents. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, something seems different. Who's this man that replaced my child? Anyway. <laughs> just imagine you like, fully grown. Just on your 15th birthday, you just suddenly... Shylan's fully down. Yeah, fully donezo. Rez, though, so he's fully back alive. Fully rezo. <laughs> it doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Rez, though, maybe. Yeah, 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 that works, that works. At any rate, it's almost... Uh, it's interesting that both these teams are running the fair... Oh, Mui stood still a bit too long. Huss finds that one. The thing is, you're expecting a lot of ground-based gameplay from Blank, which Shyland oh. correctly, but CKM is also preventing Sean Hong Kong Attitude from potentially going on to GOATS here. So, again, Blank Esports running the spam, running the damage here, actually running double supports in a lot of cases. You'd probably keep a Diva here and put Tongue onto the, the Roadhog, but Blank don't want to take any chances. They, they don't want to put all the healing into the Kura Basket. Oh, they've spotted out a Ting. Way back in behind them, they are aware that he is there, and that means they will be expecting the pincer movement in from Hong Kong Attitude. It Here hurts he Hong Kong Attitude's ability to really pull this off, and yeah, here he comes into the middle. Blank are reacting. They know that that was coming. They pull back. They regroup. They've already taken out Shylin. And Hong Kong Attitude is starting to lose a decent bit of time here. Rezzing Shylin, but losing a team straight away means, again, they can't really commit to the dive just yet. It just puts them in the same position. You go one step forward, one step backwards, and now two steps backwards because Mango Jai is down, and suddenly that one rezzing hand, that's 30 seconds away from being used again. Hong Kong Attitude are going to make some heavy changes here. Both DPS is going to change. Oh, that'll do fine. That will do fine, thank you. We'll see, anyway. Yeah. We'll see if it does fine. And I am actually kind of liking the McCree here over the Widowmaker. 
It's got similar enough pick potential, but really it's the extra damage you can do against the shields and the like that I, I really like here. And also just being able to throw out a oh, flashbang. Okay. They're committing hard though, and Dragon Breath low, but he's getting topped off. Pops out the whole hog as well, and CQB even throwing in some pistol fire for good measure, but 10 10's the first true casualty of the fight as he loses the mech. Now Valkyrie is going to run out soon for CQB. Mango Jai is already dead. Only one trade back on Takura. Can't res himself, but the numbers are the way of blank. At the very least, if Hong Kong Energy cap, it is going to have taken a long, long time. Well, it's going to force out now the transcendence from Tung because Kura down means you've got solo heal and Tung cannot afford to go down, but with that trance gone, Huss is in a lot of trouble. It's up to so the tanks now, so you need to see Trill and Dragon Breath work together to allow Kura to get back into this fight and to allow this defense to continue. But it is Hong Kong Attitude also streaming in a lot of members reinforced. The thing is, Kura is now back in the fight and they've killed Shia Lin. Now they kill CQB and they were able to keep oh, Kura right. alive as well. So it was the stabilization. Good third in among that from Hong Kong Attitude, but blank the tank line there staying alive was just able to hold on long enough. We're also now seeing double support changes, CQB and Mango Jai onto new heroes. And I gotta say, when we saw that initial transcendence from Mango Jai, there are a few very clear cut cases where you know a team is desperate. And one of those is we got a trance just to get onto the point. If we, you have to use a transcendence there to even enter a point, you know you're in trouble. Now blank. Sats. Entrenched on this point, the whole hog is there. That is the only big ult oh, they have at disposal, though, is maybe thrown out a bit early. And also got bio grenaded up. Kura in trouble. The dive is here, and it is good from Hong Kong Attitude. They didn't make the support change, but they've still got the ultimates to back this attack up as they just ream through blank. Going to secure this point without too much trouble. In the overtime, though, that's a saving grace for Blank because it puts them in a winning position, potentially, if they can hold out B. If you're ever wondering why even play Anna, this is why the clutch factor coming up from Mango Jai there lands a bio node on both the tanks of Blank Esports, then gets a sleep dart on top of Dragon Breath while he is using a whole hog, cancelling everything out, stopping them from healing back in. And because Hong Kong Attitude penetrated that front line, that's all they needed to do because that was the hardest thing for them to do previously. Change up now for Blank. Primarily in that tank lineup. And I think a smart one, a necessary one in fact. They can just stall up, slow down Hong Kong Attitude for a good long while. Raise on the tongue. CKM looking for an angle on that Dragon Strike as well. And for Blank Esports as well, if, if it wasn't enough to force Hong Kong Attitude to cap in the over Ooh, A, watch. then you're, you know, if that's not enough to get you this map victory, I don't really know what is, and they should have now enough time to bleed off the clock to force Hong Kong Attitude into another overtime. And that should then give Blank Esports a victory, but they got to get there first. Tung is going to make sure that everyone on his team is nice and calm. They only actually lost Dragon Breath in that CKM just going off right now. He went down to about like one, maybe two health earlier uh, as Shia Lin was trying to dive him. Got the kill, then immediately threw out the Dragon Strike and got another kill as well, just with uh, good old arrows. And it means that Hong Kong Attitude have made barely any progress. Also means now CKM is nearly onto another Dragon Strike, 93%. That's off the back of, you know, landing some amazing shots, getting the kills. And Blank Esports just maintaining this pressure, maintaining their positioning. Hong Kong Attitude are going to potentially look for a long flank, but wherever they go, CKM should be ready to just ult. Ah, they do unless get a good does. dive. Yeah, unless he's dead. They also pick off Husk, which means it's only the tanks and supports. Blank just have to give up ground here, but they also need to do so safely. And they ideally want to slow this cart down, Dragon Breath. Losing the mech there, Trill knows better than to Primal Rage in that situation, but Kura had popped the Valkyrie. Hong Kong Attitude now with a lot of ults, they do go into overtime soon, but there's still a lot of time and resources to close out point B here anyway. And you said slow down Hong Kong Attitude, and Blank Esports have exactly the ults to do that with. Dragon Strike directly onto the cart, Trill has a Primal as well, Blank have the opening they need to get into the fight, they just need the members, and losing us early is not good for them. They do get to commit the res onto him, but this is so far from ideal right now. Here's the overtime. Exactly where he is. Oh, oh no! Shailen threads the needle! That is massive! It also was while it was channeling. That could have just completely shut the fight down before it even started. Instead, now Blank are in full recovery mode. Trill does get to pop a Primal Rage here and Tongue rescue things momentarily. They lose Huss again. Trill instantly drops. Hunk of Attitude have got this one in the bag now. We'll be able to cap this one over. Blank. Wow. Shia Lin 
completely shut any potential defense down there, and now suddenly Blank could lose it. That was absolutely disgusting from Shailene. They had one shot, get that Dragon Strike out there. Trill then follows up with the Primal Rage. And Trill now using the Primal Rage, Blank Esports saying, look, we only need realistically one shot at this, playing the full GOAT's composition. Honko and have not swapped yet. Most attacking teams would go to a Junkrat by now. Not this attacking team, not yet. And for Blank Esports, the chance to win is still alive. They've got the ultimate here, Hong Kong Attitude. That's why they don't want to swap, and I don't blame them either. Self-destruct board doesn't get the mileage. Dragon Breath, though, loses the mech. Blank taking a lot of pressure going right poorly. now. They are fighting quite far forward, though. They're stopping the payload from moving. They do have the closer respawn. So now that they've bled Hong Kong Attitude dry in terms of ultimates, now Blank should be able to come back in one last time with the fight that they've set themselves up for. But they don't have members, and they don't have trades, which means Hong Kong Attitude have full six members. If this was half a Hong Kong Attitude attack, maybe Blank come in in time. But look, half of them have got to go forward to do a spawn camp now, and Blank have to run past the front line just to get to Who's the card. They're not on it! 0.03! Tongue's dead, though. It doesn't matter too late. They needed to lose the fight faster. Could you believe that that's the difference maker there? And Blank snatching defeat from the jaws of victory there. I mean, credit to Hong Kong Attitude as well. Getting the fight they needed in the overtime on point A. Getting the most abominable pulse bomb I have ever seen on that point B attack as well. I mean, that wasn't even a guaranteed win on the defense from Blank there, but... They made it a guaranteed loss by landing that pulse bomb, and on the whole, it, Hong Kong Attitude deserved every bit of that win. It wasn't even the skill of how can I land this pulse bomb. CKM standing still, it was the pure timing of it that exactly when the Dragon Strike was being channeled, yeah. just before it releases, and he needs to die in a very specific timing window, is exactly when he died. It needs to be timed such that the pulse bomb goes off because the pulse bomb itself has priming, has the yeah. throw distance, has all of that, you have to time it. So well to hit that timing just, window, just flawless. it is and a very hard thing to do in most cases. And Shai Lin just absolutely, it feels like Luke Skywalker getting the proton torpedoes down into like Death Star. Right. It's just like the perfect timing at the right, it's just unbelievable. But again, it's not hard to throw a pulse one at a stationary target. It's just the specific timing window it needed to happen was insane. Now that you say that, Shai Lin does kind of sound like a Star Wars name. Yeah. I'm just, I'm feeling that. But more importantly, off the back of that, what actually looked like it could have been Blank kind of hitting one back, having some real hope in the series, ends up being Hong Kong Attitude taking it out and taking us to match point. It just goes to show, look, it doesn't matter how good your attack goes. It doesn't matter how far you get, how quickly. When you do ultimately get stopped up short of capping, it sets the stage for victory for your opponent. Even if it's a hard-fought one, as long as it becomes that victory, that's all the Hong Kong attitude care. And this is the point in the time where, similar to where we were in our last match now, two teams I have to say this for, but that was so winnable. For Blank Esports, yeah. the victory path was laid out in front of them. They needed to just force Hong Kong attitude into an overtime push on that B point, such that they only have one minute 30 to go into C. That's exactly what happened. Blank then just need to hold out until the overtime ticks over again, utilize their respawn advantage, and they will win. Now, they did even better than that. They pushed A into overtime, which means they could have fully held A. They pushed B into overtime, which means they could have fully held B. And we know Shailen pulled out the craziest play to be able to push that B over. But then even into C, it's blank esports. Like you said, they didn't quite lose quickly enough. But at the same time, I would also argue they didn't get enough trades at all because you're allowed to not get fully team wiped, but you need to also be able to get some kills in there because if it's Hong Kong attitude pushing in with less than six members, then they don't get to have that kind of forward pressure that they eventually had. If it's three Hong Kong Attitude members versus a bunch of blank respawners, blank still stabilize. Exactly. And I mean, even if the fight had it been able to take place a little further forward, then maybe there's this outside chance that blank do get onto the payload. But I mean, at that point, it's difficult. Hong Kong Attitude are going to set up a kind of spawn camp. And I want to speak to that as a notion because I think that's actually... Also, what we saw, as much as Shailen landing the sick pulse bomb was great and it was a difference maker, actually prior to that, we were seeing Hong Kong Attitude going, okay, they've got Dragon Strike, this is a narrow bit where we just kind of have to head straight towards the base. 
Let's play around it. Let's not let him have a too good Dragon Strike. So it's also just being proactive about what they know Blank will try and do on the defense that help them secure the win. Well, familiar waters we're in now. And unfortunately for Blank Esports, 0-2 down the series. We know Mega were here just earlier on in the evening. We're going to go to a break for the halftime. But when we come back, is it going to be Blank able to reverse things up or can Hawk Attitude finish off Blank and get their revenge for seasons past? Find out all that and more after this break.